Leah Stokes. I work on climate and clean energy policy at UC Santa Barbara. And my question about green hydrogen is how are we gonna make sure that with these new tax credits that we don't accidentally end up incentivizing a lot of projects that are actually storing dirty energy and increasing carbon pollution? What can the Biden administration do to make sure that we put guardrails and make sure that green hydrogen is actually green? 9% of the hydrogen we produce right now is from dirty fuels like natural gas and coal. Now, producing hydrogen from renewable electricity using water to source your hydrogen is really the best bet for it being climate friendly. But of course, the story isn't that simple because right now we're using a lot of that renewable electricity that we're able to generate to decarbonize our power grid and to bring all of that electricity to homes and buildings and vehicles. And so we really need to make sure that if we're using renewable electricity to produce hydrogen, that it's excess renewable electricity. It's in addition to what we need for the power grid, because the last thing we want to be doing is taking away renewable electricity from the power grid, making the power grid dirtier, and then thinking that we have this clean green fuel that we're using.